surprise! I am here for a very quick little vlogmas video. Vlogmas day six! I find myself with a couple of hours spare which I did not think I was going to have so I figured why not just jump on quickly and have a little vlogmas catch up so that I can keep my streak going. I am back at home. I have had all day in the office today. Tonight we are having like a virtual board game night with friends of ours who live overseas. So that will be really fun. We'll use Board Game Arena to do that, which we've basically been using since COVID. And it is a really cool platform to like play a whole range of like actually pretty awesome games with like friends virtually. And it's, it is a free platform. There are games that are on like a premium subscription, but only one person at the table needs to have the premium subscription. So my husband plays a lot of it. And so he has a premium subscription so he can like, get us onto all of the game tables or whatever. Anyway, that should be really fun, but I do have a couple of hours before then. So I thought that I would quickly try and find a little boho bag type pattern that I can make for my niece, because I think that is something that I can be making while we're playing board games tonight. Let's have a little look and see what is available online. I also did get chosen today to pattern test a very cute little pocket raccoon for my friend Kayla at The Girl Who Knots. So right on time. I haven't been here all day, so he, he does get a little bit needy. But yes, so I do have a pattern test to do as well. I might start that tomorrow though, because anytime I pattern test, I want to like make sure I can actually like pay proper attention to what I'm doing because I'm obviously pattern testing and I need to make sure that the pattern is all good for people. The other thing that happened today is that we released the cassowary pattern. Clive the cassowary is out in the world. I chose my two giveaway winners this morning and sent them the pattern so hopefully I will get to see a few more little Clive the cassowaries floating around now that that pattern is out. So if you want to check it out I will pop the link in the description below so that you can have a look at it. I also decided today that I want to try and make like some kind of wearable for Christmas. And I don't know what it's gonna be because it's quite hard to find a crochet wearable at Christmas time in Australia because as you've heard me complaining <laughs> for the last like five Vlogmas videos, it is pretty warm here. And I was thinking of getting the Realm Designs Chula vest pattern to wear, which I think would be kind of fun. I could make it in like, red and green so that they were red tulips but as it turns out I don't have much money at the moment because I've just come back from overseas so we're gonna work our way up to that I'm going to do a few other things on my list maybe see how much money I have left at the end of this pay cycle and get it then but in the meantime I have popped it on my throne wish list which to be honest, I mostly use to just like keep track of things that I want and also so that my husband can look at it and see stuff that I want. But you can also gift things anonymously through it. So if you're a content creator, go and check it out. It's a really cool way for like your community to support you without having to like pay a subscription fee or something like that. So I will have it up on there as well. But for now, let's find a pattern for this bag for my niece. All right, I'm just logging into Ravelry to see what they've got. Um, what do I even search for? <laughs> Bango is like sat right in front of my keyboard. So it's actually like very hard to type. Okay, now he's just got his head on the keyboard. So that's unhelpful. Okay, all right. I've just tried boho bag. So let's see. I'm really bad at decision making. I feel that is common knowledge at this point. Let's just have a look at a flower one and see if that's any cuter. Cause I feel like my niece is starting to get into like the more, more, not girly things, but like more floral stuff, things like that. Ha, flower granny square. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Honestly, why didn't I think of this earlier? There we go. I think this is the way to go. This is it. This is the one. Let's go. Let's go. Flower granny square. All right, we've done it. Lock it in. Let's go. Let's make this pattern. I'm excited. Okay. Hooray, we made it. And it will be another thing ticked off my list. And I've actually committed to something. So if you could all tell me that I did a really good job at making a decision, 
that would be much appreciated. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, I have changed into my comfier clothing and I have picked out colors. So I think I'm going to use Moo Moo's Milk Cotton for this one, which is what I used for the blueberry bag. And I'm going to use Flannel Flower for the middle, which is like a beigey kind of color. So I think that will be the middle of the flower and the border rose. And then I'm gonna have yellow and orange next to each other. My niece's favorite color is yellow, so it has to be yellow in there. And then I will have green as the leaf bits of the flower. And then white on the, well, not white, flannel flower on the outside. And then I may or may not make the strap out of a different color, like a pink or something, because I feel like this might just get a bit dirty for a toddler, you know? So I've chosen my colors like pretty quickly for me. So I think that is a good thing. So let's just see what these colors all look like together. Time for my next project. Woo! Okay, I have gotten started. This is what the flower looks like. I wanted to get started on one of the sides now for like the flower part and get up to where it's just the square so that when we're playing games tonight, I don't really have to like think about it that much. <laughs> um, so that is what I've done. I've started this one and I think it's looking pretty cute. A couple more rounds to go, but Kieran is going to be home pretty soon, which will mean we are into dinner figuring out mode before we then like give our friends a call and start our fun little game night. Anyway, that is going to be it. Thank you again so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this short little surprise video for day six and I will see you again tomorrow. If you liked this video, please give it a like. And if you want more crochet crafty fun times content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you've just found us, you have a few days of Vlogmas to catch up on. So I hope you enjoy that. Thank you for being here and until next time, bye!